Lesson three, creating the optimal business plan. Now that we got that out of the way, we can now focus on creating a business plan or how your blog will make money plan. It's important to remember that you need to experiment, that you need to listen to feedback and adapt to your viewers' requests. This is the hard part. You have to think about everything. Your blog may not require each part of this plan. Only you will be able to determine this. If you want to create a business out of your blog, then it's important to follow each section. This plan is essential for upcoming blog posts, customer requests and or suggestions, business growth plans, or even marketing opportunities. Once you have your business plan, it's ideal to read through it at least once a month since your mindset can change with time. That being said, let's break down the plan accordingly. Section 1. Blog and Brand Presentation of the Idea A clear vision of the idea should be presented using an inspirational tone. It should give a clear picture of your goals and how the blog will end up working. Questions should sound like, why does this blog need to exist? How will it look like in a few months or years? What is my long-term plan? And how do I want others to see my blog? Objective Statement Your objectives must make you stand out from other blogs and should have a clear representation of your overall goals. Here, the question should sound like, what are my responsibilities towards others as a blog? And what would be my blog culture? What is the ideal reader? Try to listen to user feedback. Once they start to have a voice, listen to them. Build up what they want to see and anticipate their requests. Who are you writing for? This should be the ideal question. The culture behind the blog. Each blog has its own culture. You must determine what style of tone to write in, what types of images people will end up seeing, what feeling will your readers feel. Section 2. The Goals of Your Blog and Brand Objectives List three objectives that your blog has to meet in the next six months or one year. These objectives must be measurable by observing any sort of change. That way you can determine whether or not your blog is evolving. The blog platform. Decide what type of platform you are creating for your blog. Expansion goals. Think of different ways to keep your community happy. Create a forum, give them a voice, and let them inspire each other. See how you can evolve with your blog. Section 3. Blog Guidelines and Best Practices Categories Develop a multitude of categories inside your blog. While traveling, you can do something else as well in order to add to your blog. Writing category, picture category, personal thoughts category, etc. These categories should be easily understood by your users since they might want to navigate around your site. Schedule Create a posting schedule in order to get your readers used to your rhythm. You will need to post a few times a week. Test how many days you can work. Use apps like Google Calendar to your advantage or any sort of traditional calendar. Business tasks. As a business, remember you must keep up your accounting, marketing tasks up to date, follow up on invoices, and provide customer service as soon as it is required of you. Section 4. Blog Monetization Products You will need to prepare some digital or physical products in order to sell as a site. Offer possible clients or fans a list of items and a detailed description of them, adding value to your site. Services Follow the same techniques you'll be applying to the products listed above. Include possible services you plan to offer your users in the future. Ad Space you can sell ad space to companies on your blog or use services like Passionfruit. Decide which types of ads are good for your blog. You want to select ads and monetization strategies that can add value to the user experience, not to distract them from enjoying your content. Affiliate program and or partnership. You can also use any partner or affiliate programs where you make a commission if a reader clicks a link on your site and goes to another site where she purchases something. List them in this section and determine how they fit with your brand and culture. Ad programs such as PPC or PPV. Whether displaying ads from Google or a network like BlogHer, you can decide whether or not you want to allow your blog 
the pay-per-click or pay-per-view advertising system. How will your readers respond? Don't be afraid to try new methods. Subscription and membership programs. If all goes well, you could also offer premium content to your readers. In order to receive it, they would have to pay a small monthly fee. You could use YouTube in order to draw subscribers and increase the number of visitors. Giveaways. Once you have a stable user database and constant traffic, you can spice things up by offering some sort of giveaway events where you can make a daily raffle or just some sort of contest. Offer your users shirts or other memorabilia. Other monetization methods identified. You must be able to identify opportunities based on the voice of your users. If they feel the need for something, you will be able to tell. Create a bond with them and you shall observe. Section 5. Analysis of the market and readers. The blogs activating in the same niche. It's important to learn from others to find inspiration. Analyze at least five leading sources in the traveling department. Record a few key components and points of interest that make them extremely well known. Comparable blogs. Once you've found those blogs that have similar topics of discussion and visions, analyze the readerships and categories. However, keep in mind that you must compare your ideas to others even if those blogs aren't the most popular. It shouldn't make you feel bad, quite the contrary. Try to support their efforts, contact them, and use the networking abilities to your advantage. Benefits of the blog Based on your reader demographic and results, think of different ways you can blog to help them. Are there any differences between your blog and others? Create a list that shows how you can help your readers. Traffic goals If you end up using Google Analytics or another program that can help you keep track of your website traffic, you can set realistic goals for your blog. Aim to increase your overall traffic levels each month or every few months, or you can even track the effectiveness of different links or paths on your site. After all, your market and reader analysis is all about creating a plan that will benefit your blog and your readers. Section 6. Social Media Strategy Social Media Plans Information about how to keep track of your social media account can literally be found all over the internet. You should always focus on creating special pages for your blog so that people can take notes of your updates. Try not to make all of them at the same time. Make a monthly plan dedicated for each social media account. Let's say for the first month, you will create a dedicated Facebook page where you will show people your general ideas, schedules, post images, and updates. Email list plan. As soon as you start your blog, keep track of your visitors. Ask for their emails. Having a list of readers or potential clients that are interested in your blog and offer their emails is one of the most valuable responses they can offer. They are possible supporters and traffic drivers and even customers. Use services like MailChimp.com to send out free and attractive mass emails to your list. Possible guest appearances. Further on, you can develop a plan that involves other bloggers as well as website content creators. Creating these sort of appearances through posts, videos, expert articles, interviews, etc. will maximize the value of your brand. You just have to contact them. This will also create possible partnerships. Best Practices for Social Media Strategies Once you've thought about all these ways to use your platform, it's time to tie all of these ideas together into one overall strategy that can be applied across each platform. Section 7. Other Types of Marketing Offline Offline marketing techniques can turn out to be a lifesaver sometimes. When there are too many things to do online, in order to avoid making mistakes by rushing with content and starting to feel disconnected, there are other things you can do in real life to promote your blog. Business cards, magazine ads, and promotions. Think of at least three methods you can use to boost your blog awareness in real life. Sales. How do you plan to eventually sell your blog services and or products? You could open an Etsy.com shop. You can teach online workshops and even sell wares at markets and fairs. Marketing offline and online should be combined. Section 8. Growth Plan Starting Budget 
Before you launch your blog, consider the following expenses. Logo and or brand identity designs. You may consider logo builders such as logomaker.com. You can also use a multitude of template images in order to create the logo you want. Website hosting and domain name. Maybe some business cards or promotional materials. Monthly internet fees. Possible software for your computer. We will speak about this in a later chapter, but as a traveling blogger, you will need a phone, a reliable lightweight camera, a laptop, a power bank, portable wireless router that can use a SIM card for any internet or mobile provider, and pens and paper. In order to travel abroad, you need to consider buying plane tickets, accommodation expenses, food and water expenses, a good backpack, and other monthly expenses. Follow the exact process as seen above. However, remember that things will not always go as planned. Have a backup plan. Monthly Revenue Streams Once your blog starts creating money, keep track of your revenue streams. Once you start offering services or goods, create affiliate programs or advertising opportunities. You will see the revenue grow. Record your income each month from each source. This will help you see the flow of trends over time. It will also allow you to get rid of parasitic partnerships and fully utilize your ideas that prove to have a good impact over your blog. Budget for production. Determine the amount of money each post will cost you to develop, money and time-wise. As a traveling blogger, you can take most pictures and create content with the only cost being the time factor. However, if you want to create a blog post about an event, about a park, you might need to give money out of your pocket. It's all about investing. Section 9. Blog Style Having a good aspect will surely make people more interested in your blog. That's what content does for your blog. It creates the aspect and the framework. It displays your content in order to grab attention. Before picking a design option for your blog, it's good to look at other websites and notice the color play. If you end up making the blog yourself, just use a pre-made template or theme. If you have a limited budget, you can try placing a project on freelance websites such as freelancer.com and upwork.com. Another tip is to add a visual element that appears in most pictures, like a mascot, a creature, or an object. If you keep adding that visual identity over and over again, it will transform into a memory anchor, meaning that people will enjoy seeing that mascot and the adventure that it goes through.